In this edition of INN CEO Talks, I'm joined by Paul West Sells, the President and CEO of Western Copper and Gold. Western Copper and Gold is a single project Canadian-based company. The company is developing the casino project into Canada's premier gold copper mine. Paul, welcome back. It's a pleasure to be back here. You know, you just completed a feasibility study on this project that we've talked about more than once. Yeah. <laughs> What's the feasibility study telling you now? Yeah, I mean, so, I mean, th the first thing is that the feasibility study built on uh, a p the PA that we released. So we, that engineering group just kept rolling on and, and worked towards the feasibility study. But, you know, bringing a project to a feasibility study level is important. Uh, you know, this provides reserves, so we now have reserves on the project. So the reserves, you know, for both the mill and the heap leach is around 1.4 billion tons, so significant reserves now. Um, provides economics. I mean, so the project still looks very, very good. You know, we're, we're showing a 2.3 billion net present value, an 18.1% IRR, both after tax. And, you know, you know, very significant cash flow, particularly over the first four years. You know, close to a billion dollars of cash flow after tax over that that first four year period, and I think, you know, I've certainly talked about this previously. I, that's when you're mining the core zone, but that's now all at a feasibility study level. So that's important for a number of reasons. One, it becomes the foundational document as we bring the project through to permitting and, and eventually becoming a mine. So that's sort of key in terms of the development of the project, and then it's also sort of key in terms of you know, this is a large project. We've always sort of said that it goes forward best, uh, you know, with a partner or, or a major mining company sort of taking it over. So it, it just really establishes the, the robustness of this project at that level. And so, you know, other people can sort of take a look at it and make their minds up on whether or not they want to come in and, and take a look. Well, I actually have two questions out of your answer there. One is, well, what is that timeline and how is it intersecting with this, with what everybody says is going to be a, you know, a drought on the overall or a, a dearth of, of supply in the carp copper market because the demand is expected to rise through the end of this decade and be solid through to the 2050s. Yeah, no, and, and exactly. So, so I mean, our, the timeline, I mean, this was an important step. Uh, the next step is, is getting our application in front of the regulator. That's about a year away from where we are right now. Um, so once that's in, we're, we're talking about three years. So about four years mm -hmm. from where we are right now to when we can begin construction on the mine. And so that, you know, that brings us into 2026. You know, um, after a couple years of construction, we get first production out, out of the heap leach. So yeah, we're right in that sort of second half of this decade that you're going to be bringing this mine online, which is, as you said, that's exactly the time. I mean, it's sort of 2025 plus. Uh, is when they're saying there's going to be a, just a real dearth of copper out there. And, and uh, so the timing lines up really, really nicely. So the other part of your answer was also to uh, work with a major. Uh, you have an ongoing relationship with Rio Tinto. Bring us up to speed on where you're at right now with them. Yeah, so it's uh, it's it's been it's been a lot of fun working with them actually. Uh, you know, my my background I used to work for big mining companies, and then you know now now running a junior. So it, it's I, I remember the the pluses of the, of the big mining companies is you've got these big teams. So you know we we are working with their, you know their geology teams, their metallurgy teams, and you know where I'm on these calls where there's a couple of people from from my team and about five or six from from the Rio team. And uh, but anyhow, we, we've been developing a lot of a lot of good product with them. Um, but yeah, I mean, so the, the arrangement that we have with them is that we work together for about 12 months to, you know, have them, uh, you know, they wanted to look at the geology, they wanted to look at metallurgy, they wanted to spend a lot of time really understanding the, you know, the First Nations, the regulatory environment, the government, the way the, way the Yukon works. Mm -hmm. um, and, and then the idea is that if they liked what they've seen, then, you know, we'd sit down and talk next steps. And so far they've liked what they've seen and, uh, you know, they're dotting I's and crossing T's. And I, I expect that we'll be sitting down here relatively soon. You were just up in the Yukon. Uh, when you came away from that, what was your sense of like uh, how everything is coming together and gelling? 
Yeah. Well, I, I mean, you know, I was up at site uh, and, you know, we've got we, we've got a, an interesting exploration program this year where, I mean, it's this is a large deposit. <laughs> I don't I don't need to grow it any bigger. But we had uh, one target. It's it's a deep target. Uh, so we actually drilled a, a thousand a kilometer deep hole, thousand meters, and which is by far the deepest hole that we've ever drilled there. And, and uh, in, into this anomaly, um, so that uh, w was interesting to sort of see that that in action, and uh, a bunch of activity up at site, really on the permitting front, and, and getting ready to get that application in. But uh, you know, the camp is is working out really, really well, and uh, the Yukon is booming. Uh, you know, there's lots of uh, uh, white horses. It, it was tough to get a hotel room, and uh, you know, which is sort of typical for the summer. But it was ha it was very happy to see that. Everything was back up and running at, at full steam. Well, investors who are watching this right now are going to say, well, that's good to know. But, but what should I be paying attention to the most right now as I consider uh, making you know, Western Copper and Gold part of my investment portfolio? Yeah, I mean, there's there's sort of uh, I mean, there's a couple things here. I mean, so first of all, obviously the, the feasibility study was was a big thing, and I mean, we I mean that's a couple weeks old right now. So um, you know, certainly I and and we're actually going to get the full report out, and, and so for for you know in, investors, you know, take a look at that. You know, it's something we're very proud of. You know, it, it looks really really good. Um, the next thing is that you know, obviously the copper. Um, world right now. I mean, copper is, is depressed. Although, I mean, it's actually it's actually a great time to get into stories like Western right. copper and gold because you know the share price is 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 down. But if you look at the fundamentals on copper, I mean, uh, it, it's you know the inventory. So the stocks of copper are sort of at these incredibly low levels, but the price is dropping just because everyone's worried about inflation. Um, but the fundamentals are not there, and so I think that you know in the second half of the year. You're going to start to see that go up, and and you know we really move with the copper price, so so that's another sort of key thing that that investors should be looking at, and the third thing, of course, is is our relationship with Rio. Mm -hmm. um, it it's we're I mean the agreement we have with them. There's a milestone at the end of November where you know they learn they lose certain rights. Um, they have an opportunity to to renew that. Um, but you know the idea was that you know this would be renewed if 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 we all thought that uh, you know we were going to get to some sort of agreement at some point in time. So uh, we'll see. I mean that's uh, a little a little under uh, five months away here. So um, it, it's going to be a really exciting time. Well, it has been exciting all along. You know, I have had the opportunity to follow this over the last few years with you, and it really is an exciting project. And I wish you great success as you move forward here. I, I think that it's a company really worth watching. All right. Well, thank you very much. Yeah.